united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, united with Christ. Hello and God bless you. We want to welcome you to United with Christ. Today, we want to thank KSCE TV management and staff for providing this opportunity for the Sisters of Spirit ministry to share with you. We've been sharing with you this month. My name is Mamie Bush Johnson. I am one of the workers with Sisters of Spirit. I am so blessed today uh, to have with us Minister Ke uh, Calvin Alexander. He is one of the ministers at Visitors Chapel AME, where his pastor is, uh, Pastor Jack Phil. And so we want to say good morning to you, and we thank God for you. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Uh, we want to remind you also, uh, callers, that if you would look at the prayer line number that is listed on the screen, Call in because it's prayer time and we certainly want to help you with any concerns, any prayer that you need. We want to lift you up before the Lord. So call in. The number is right there and uh, and we want to help you as much as we can. I'm going to turn it over to Minister Alexander who is going to say hello and lead us in prayer. Amen. Uh, as she said, my name is Minister Alexander and I want to lead us in prayer. Uh, a little prayer for the city and for our children that are returning to school. Father, we lift you up right now in the name of Jesus. You're worthy of all the praise, honor, and the glory. Father, we ask for your un questionable favor as our children return to school. Protect them, O oh God, as they go into the schools. And not just our children, Father, but touch, put your hands upon the administrators and the teachers. Allow your spirit of instruction and your spirit of understanding to permeate throughout the schools so that the children may understand their lessons and grow in your grace and your favor. These and all things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. I want to uh, share a scripture with you uh, that the Lord laid on my heart. It's Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. And it reads, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Yes. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, <laughs> and the young men shall utterly fall. Now, we know this, don't we, my Amen. brother? But they that wait on the on Lord, the Lord yes. shall, shall renew, renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as, as eagles. eagles. They shall run and, and not, not be, be weary. weary. They shall walk and, and not faint. faint. Amen. 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 Well, I'll tell you what. We have our encourager who is going to be sharing with us uh, uh, today, and that is Minister Kelvin Alexander. And so I'm going to ask my brother if he would kind of tell us a little bit about uh, himself and then go ahead and just share with the people. Okay. Man. Again, my name is Kelvin Alexander, I'm originally from New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans, I grew up there and graduated from high school, and I joined the Army, and that's what got me here to El Paso. Between the Army and uh, sharing God's love, I'm an elder in the a African Methodist Episcopal Church, Amen. and I love the Lord. Amen. I love the Lord. And if I could get your attention for just a second to Hebrews 4, 14 through 16. It says, since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I have to tell you a story. 
when my kids, my oldest two kids were little, they had a language of their own and they could talk to each other. And it, they're 22 months apart. And it was kind of strange because they would talk to each other and, and, and share information. And my, my wife and I would look at them like, what is going on there? But they, they trusted each other so, so much that one would say something and the other would finish the conversation. My, my son would, would want something and his sister would ask for it for him without him opening his mouth. That's the kind of trust and the kind of favor that we have, that we should have in Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, Jesus being our high priest is an awesome thing. And the reason it's so awesome is because he is not one that is just up high and has never touched or felt anything. He actually lived on earth and he's gone through the same things that we go through. He felt the same things that we still feel. And because of that, we can go to him with confidence. We can go to him with confidence and knowing that he understands our situation. Yes, yes. It's not that he's condemning us, but he understands yes. what we're dealing with. Yes. And in understanding what we're dealing with, he, we can go to him and ask for direction. We can ask him for, for ways to get through what we're getting through. It's not from our brains that we get it, but it's from the spirit of the Lord that we understand how to get through situations and circumstances and the things that come upon us that we don't know how to deal with. Because Christ, our mediator, he sits on the right hand of God the Father, calling on the Father to forgive us, yes. calling on the Father to bless us, calling on the Father to help us through, through his spirit. Yes. It's amazing. When I really think about it, uh, we have a, 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 an advocate not just any old advocate, you're right, you're but right. a great advocate yes. that sits next to God, the creator yes. of the universe, not just anybody, but the creator of the universe. Amen. And he advocates in our defense. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Isn't it? Awesome. It, it just Thank blows you. your mind when you really think about it, that he sits there and he makes sure when we send up our petitions to him, he says to the father, hey, daddy, look, that's your child. See me? Go ahead and bless him. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yes. And because of that, we can go to God with confidence, being able to withstand the storms, being able to stand the vicissitudes of life, being able to understand everything that we could possibly go through. Mm -hmm. He's been through it. He's, as they say, been there, done that, got yes. the t-shirt. Yes. Jesus been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yes. And because yes. he's done it, yes. We can look to him and say, Father, I don't understand how to get me through this situation. I don't understand what to do, but I know that you've been here and you can see me through. We can go to him with confidence, knowing and understanding that he has felt what we feel. He has been where we are and he can get us through. It's one of the things that I tell my kids all the time. My youngest daughter just got into high school and, and she tries to you know, play the high school kid games. Of course. And it's, it's funny because we, we tell her over and over, hey baby, we've been there. We, we know what it's like to be in high school. Mm -hmm. She's like, but dad, it's different now. No, there's nothing <laughs> new under the sun. Everything is the same and it just repeats over That's and so over. True. And because of that, it's the same thing with, with Jesus. He's been where we are and he allows us to go through and he allowed see that's the other part he allows us to go through the situations not to hurt us but to make us stronger Amen. Yes. and once we get stronger to the other end yes. we overcome by the word of our testimony yes. when we can tell others what god has done for us and how he brought us through it strengthens them to go to him to get through themselves amen, amen. i think karen clark shear says it the best and i i wrote this down and i was like yeah Stop telling God about your storm. Tell your storm about your oh God. God. Amen. Yes. Amen. God is an awesome God. Amen. 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 I, and I love him. You know, I was thinking about what you were just sharing and what God laid on my heart when you talked about being an advocate. Mm -hmm. I thought about how so many uh, have gone through so many things. Yes. And I know, yes. you know, we've gone yes. through different things, but we serve a God, we, we, like you said, who is our advocate, yeah. who is our defender. And mm -hmm. I know some, some people mm -hmm. know about public defenders right. when, when they are unable to employ their own attorney, right. they go with the public defender. Now, mm -hmm. I realize that some people think public defenders will do a good job, some things that maybe they won't because mm -hmm. they're not paying them per se. But the fact of the matter is, can you just imagine having to go before 
the court in the courtroom and they say, where is your lawyer? Mm -hmm. You say, hold on. hold on, it's the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> really, that's right. what it is. That's right. The battle is not ours, it's, but it's the Lord. That's right. But I wanted to discuss just a few minutes with you about, because I, I know you are quite equipped. And as you were sharing, I was just so impressed with the you. with the, the genuineness, the sincerity of how God laid that on your heart. And I thought about Jesus being in the Garden of Gethsemane. Mm. And, you know, sometimes people say uh, they're too blessed to be stressed. And, right. I, and I know we are blessed. Yes. But yes. the fact of the matter is, I think Jesus was pretty stressed mm. in the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, and may have amen. been somewhat depressed because yeah. he knew that it was soon to be time to go and, and do everything that he told the Lord he would do. Right. Because he loved God so much that he gave his life. Yes. Uh, yes. It wasn't, and, and to me, it was centered more around pleasing Daddy. Yes, he wanted to please Daddy so mm -hmm. much, and wanted to just make sure. Now, is this really what, what you, you want, want me to do? Is mm -hmm. this the way to do mm -hmm. it? And mm -hmm. that's why the Bible says that the the drops of sweat yes. were like big drops of yes. blood. Yes. And so I think about how he did that just for us, mm -hmm. just for us, and. How he, he always has our back. Yes. And I know you've tried to tell your daughter, mm -hmm. you know, trust in the Lord. Don't trust in, you know, your friends. Right. Friends, friends can be friends good friends, feeling. but yeah. friends can fail you. You know, but and especially I think about the the little female factor. Mm. You know, we'll fall out in a minute. And <laughs> all right, now we're not gonna talk about the ladies too much, but you know, it just seems to me in growing, we just have to always be careful because we can be so hurt. Yes. That's why we need the Lord. Yes. That's absolutely. why we need the Lord. And, and you know. I, the, I'm glad you said that because oftentimes we'll become hurt mm -hmm. and we'll refuse to try again. Yes. And that's when we have to depend on God yes. to allow us to, to strengthen us to yes. try again. Yes. Because he doesn't want us to stop once we get hurt and never help again. He wants yes. us to learn from it yes. and grow from it and be able to move forward and help other people still. It, You're so right. You're amen. so right. I, I was looking on Facebook the other day and uh, a lady made a comment about, the reason she doesn't go to church mm. is because she's been hurt and whatever. I, and I, I just want everybody to know that the devil loves to sell that lie. Absolutely. Uh, he is Absolutely. the author of lies mm -hmm. and wants to cause confusion. Yes. Uh, that's what he does. And, and if we don't use what God has provided for us in a testimonial, encouraging way, mm -hmm. we don't help anybody. Facebook, no. for example, uh, initially was set up to check on friends to see how people doing kind of, <laughs> you know, not to just tell us every little movement, yes. but, but to be Gossip. of encouragement. And we just right. can't give up right. and throw in the towel. No. So if there's anyone out there that you've just been having some issues, maybe even with church not knowing what to do, call the prayer line. Yes, the number is right uh, there. Please. It's been provided. It will continue to be provided to you. Call in. Let us pray with you. Let us be a blessing to you. Don't let the devil win. Mm -hmm. Get to church honoring God and assembling together. Yes. He wants to separate us yes, and exactly. keep us from being it, around each other. That That is a perfect segue because it, that's what it's about. Is As he separates us, we lose our strength. As we yes. come together, the synergy of the Holy Spirit strengthens yes. us and yes. allows us to overcome anything that Satan can throw at us. Yes. And he can't throw anything at us because all of us have been through different things. Mm -hmm. And when he throws something, he, like I just said before, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. He, he doesn't come up with any new right. gimmicks, new new strategies. It's the same stuff he's been using for since the world began. That's and he true. uses those same things over and over. And when we're separated, we can't see that he's already done that to somebody else and they made it through. But when we're together, we can see right. how others made it That's over right. and made it through. Because what we can do is say, my brother, I've been through it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I did. Yes. You know, we yes. can comfort each other. Exactly. We can pray with each other. We can encourage each other. Amen. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to uh, separate us in such a way where we don't have the love and the presence of God and understanding Absolutely. together in the room. Absolutely. Uh, because we realize that when we come together, mm -hmm. just think what God can do. Absolutely. Amen. Think about it. In the upper room, what happened? It was a mighty rushing wind, and they went out and evangelized the yes. world. From a room yes. to the world, Christ has spread. Yes. You know, 
God's power is in the people coming together. Yes. The synergy of his people coming together. His spirit moves and it allows them to move out and bring others into the kingdom. So true. Amen. So true. So true. Well, we've got uh, a few community announcements yes. that we certainly want to share with everyone uh, because we know it's all about kingdom and we want to get where we need to be yeah. and, and give support uh, to the kingdom of God. I know you ha have an announcement yes. about an awesome woman of God Absolutely. that I've heard about that's going to be here. I'm excited and, and enthused to tell everyone about my bishop, Bishop Vashti Murphy McKenzie, who's coming to the city of El Paso. This woman is electrifying. She's known across the country as an electrifying preacher. She is the first woman to be elected to the office of bishop in the African Methodist Episcopal Church in the year 2000. In over 213 years, our church has been around, and she's the first woman to make it to that level. We're excited to have her coming in. Not only has, is she the first woman to make it to that level, she was the president of the Council of Bishops. She is a member of the Board of Trustees for ITC Theological Seminary in Atlanta, and she was appointed by President Barack Obama to serve on the President's Advisory Council White House Faith Base and Neighborhood Partnership. Uh, she was invited by President Barack Obama to preach at the White House Easter Prayer Breakfast. She's the author of five books. She's, she's been honored throughout the country by leadership uh, government agencies for her outstanding achievements in her, 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 her leadership style and training. She was named by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most powerful women in the world and she was named by Huffington Post as one of the 50 most powerful women in the world. Can you beat that? And she's coming to our city, El Paso. Can you believe it? And she's married to not just anybody. She, she's married to Stan McKenzie who played for the NBA for eight seasons. She got a good one. <laughs> we're That's excited and it's, we're going to have a service at 7 p.m. at Visitors Chapel AME Church which is on 5 18 Estrella Street, and then we'll have another service on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Please right. come and join us. Don't want to miss come that. Please come and join us. Don't want to miss that. Uh, I'm actually a part of Sisters of Spirit, and um, I come here all the time. I'm actually, I live in the Dallas area, but I come here all the time. This is my second home. I love it, <laughs> and I just think it's awesome that this woman of God yes. will be sharing a few other announcements, miracles, Signs and Wonders Conference. It's going to be October 5th and 7th at Word of Life East. And you can call 915-855-9673. Call them before the month is up. And it's only a $39 pre-registration. You can also do it online, tbm.org. And that's Miracle Signs and Wonders, October 5th and 7th. Also, the annual, uh, the third annual Break Every Chain Conference mm. is Wednesday, October the 21st, and it's through October the 25th. There will be no uh, service on Friday night, but that's the third annual Break Every Chain Conference, and it will be at the Marriott Hotel, uh, Evening Word of Life East, and the one and only Bishop Tom Brown is the pastor. I've been so blessed to hear him share before, and I was blessed by the way God uses him. And then the Divine Soul's fourth year anniversary, October the 3rd at Unity Baptist Church. They have tickets for sale, pre-sale, and all you need to do is call 915-231-0096, 915-231-0096. It has been a wonderful blessing to yeah. be here with my brother, <laughs> Uh, sharing with him, um, I can only imagine the type of pastor that you have because fruit don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> God. And this is a good brother right here. God. And God bless your family, your yes. wife, your yes. children. Yes. Uh, and uh, I know it's been a blessing for you to be here, right? Yes, it has. And, and you're, it's been a blessing to meet you. I, I, this is my first time ever meeting her. And well, I, I feel you. like you're, you're part of the family. Amen. <laughs> Glad I, for it. If I may, the... Divine Souls are going to be our special musical guests on Saturday night for our service. They're going to be the, our special musical guests while the bishop is here. So please come out, get a preview of their concert that's going to happen. Yeah, Amen? yeah. That, that'll, be, that'll be really great. Yes. And 
we are kind of coming down where we're about to uh, have our last uh, three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we want to share a video with you of one of the Sisters of Spirit, one of our first conferences. God has blessed Sisters of Spirit. Uh, Linda Kirk, many of you know Linda Kirk in the city, uh, and, and we, we honor her. Uh, she is the visionary that started Sisters of Spirit. So we send a shout out to you, Linda. We love you and appreciate you. Most of all, we love this station, yes. uh, KSCE TV. Amen. Amen. Uh, continue to give it support. And we want to just say God bless this station, yes. all the leadership of the station yes. as well. So we just want to say God bless you. We love you. Yes. It's been a blessing. And we're going with this video. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Blessings. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you, and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSEE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours, or you can visit us on our website at www.kse.com. God bless you.